Hey everyone, it's Lean from ColoradoLean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. I received another email from my blog buddy Patricia. Hi Patricia. And she asked me if I could do a short video on how to make a faux bow. In the uh, directions that she sent me, when I looked at them I thought, ooh, I made something like that quite a few years ago. And when I did a little bit of research, I made something exactly like this in 2008. So today I'm going to show you how to do the faux bow, how to do a faux knot, and then we're going to venture into finger bows. So grab some ribbon and come along and let's learn how to make some bows. Let's start off with a faux knot. That's what we have here. So what I have here is a card mat and a card front and I punched two holes in it with my crocodile on the 3 16 inch side over here. Um, it is about half an inch down from the top and about a quarter of an inch on either side. So we'll start off with a piece of ribbon. I'm using a green offray ribbon. This is 3 eighths of an inch wide. And we're going to go, well, first we're going to cut these into a point. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is about 12, 13 inches long. You can make it shorter when you get used to it. So we're going to go from the front to the back on both sides. And then we'll just that set. We want these to be about even. Okay, so we have that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cross these over. So we're going to take the right side and we're going to put it through the hole on the left. So we will feed that through. Maybe we'll feed that through. Okay. <clears throat> then, then we'll just twist that around. And then we'll take the left side and put it through the right hole. And then we'll twist that around. And just like that, you have your faux knot. Couldn't be simpler, huh? So you can see here that this ribbon is really too long. So we'll just chop some of that off. Uh, I have some glue dots here that we can use. This is Elmer's Craft Dot Thin Mini Glue Strips. Yeah, I don't even know if you can get these anymore. Um, I've had these... Gosh, I don't even know how long I've had these. They have been in my stash for a very, very long time. So we will just put these on here. Oops. I'll leave that on there for just a moment. <clears throat> and then we'll get this lined up. Bent around the side. Take the paper off. Line this one up. And there we go. There is our faux knot. 
With this, you'll probably want to use foam tape to put this onto your card base. Um, this is rather flat, but it's still bulky. So, okay, let's get to the next, to the next faux bow. Okay, now we're going to try doing the faux bow. This is what Patricia wanted me to do the video on, so pay close attention. Um, it's not that different from the faux knot. Uh, this time I have a pattern paper on a card mat. Here on the back you can see it is again about a half an inch down and about a quarter of an inch off of center on both sides. So I will get my crocodile, make sure I'm on my 3 16th side. And then we will just get these holes punched. Um, I am still using Offray ribbon. This time I am using a 3 8 inch white ribbon to go with my white card front. Um, this is a little bit longer. We're going to need a little bit more ribbon for this. So this is well, probably about 14 inches or so. So just like with the faux knot, we're going to go from the front to the back on both sides. And then we're going to want to get these pretty even. Okay, so there's step one. Again, we're going to cross them over. So we'll go from the right to the left. And I'll pull that in all the way. And okay, so <laughs> sorry, I'm just trying to remember the directions. <laughs> so while we're here, I twisted this around so that the shiny satin side was on top. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and go back down through the same hole. And this is going to form our loop. Let's see. And this is where it gets a little, a little tricky. So we'll figure out about how big we want our loop. So we'll make it about that big. And then this side is going to be the tail. So again, we will cross it back over and put it through the right hand side. Now we want to be careful. We want to pull it so that it's tight on the back, but we don't want to pull our loop through. Okay, so there is half of our faux knot. Now we will take the ribbon from the left side and we will thread it through the right side hole. And this will go all the way through. We will get our satin side on top. Thread it back down through the hole. I'm trying to do this and still be in camera. Okay, there we go. And then we will match this up with the loop on the other side. So we will get that about the same size. That looks pretty close. And then again, we have our other tail. So we're going to cross it back over.
put it through to the front snug it up in the back but we don't want to mess with our bow loop and then we just kind of futz with it a little bit zhuzh it up as the as my friends used to say and there we go there is our faux bow and we'll just cut these tails Now, if your bows, if your bow loops don't stay down like you want, uh, go ahead and just use a little piece or a little glue dot. That's what I did with my example here. Um, these loops were just unruly and didn't want to stay down. So I just put a little glue dot on them and I put a little glue dot on the tails as well. But yeah, I think that looks really pretty. All right, let's talk about finger bows now. I have some examples down here on the table. I have a bow with a single loop. I have some a double loop bow here. And then I have some bows that are made out of DMC size 10 tatting and crochet thread. So let's go ahead and start with this satin bow. I am using Offray ribbon at five eighths of an inch wide and again the length depends on how big you want your bow and the more loops you need or the more loops you want the more ribbon you're going to need so we're going to start this off and however long this this part is here that's going to be the length of your tail so we'll just hold this down with our thumb Wrap it over and around our pointer finger. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the ribbon between our fingers underneath the ribbon here. So we'll slide that in there. And now we're going to take this piece. We're going to come up over this loop and we're going to come through the, the bottom of it. So just like that. And then we're going to start tightening our knot. And until we get it really tight, we can adjust where, how big our loops are going to be. And then to tighten it, we're going to pull it towards us, just like that. And then we will slip it off our fingers and turn it around. And then adjust our tails. We can turn them so that the satin is to the front, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and cut the, cut the tails. Okay. And there we have a single bow or a single loop bow. So now I'm going to show you how to do a double loop bow. We're going to need more ribbon. A longer length and again this piece here will be our tail length so we'll wrap it over our pointer finger under our middle finger back over the pointer finger and then back under the, the middle finger so again we're going to take our end we're going to go through our fingers and this piece will come up over the top of this loop and then we're going to go underneath, just like that. And then we're going to adjust the width of our bow by pulling it left and right. When we get it where we want, we'll go ahead and pull it tight towards us. Slip it off our fingers. Let's adjust our tails so that the satin edge is forward and then we'll cut these at an angle and separate our loops
And there we go. This piece is being a little stubborn, but bows always have to be messed with. And there is our double loop bow. So now I'm going to show you how to do the same finger bow, only with thread. So I have my DMC size 10 crochet and tatting thread. And we're going to need quite a bit of length here. So the more thread you have, the fuller your bow will be. So we'll chop that off. And then we're going to double our thread. So we will take our ends and we will match them up and then get this straight. And again, what we have here will be our tail. So we're just going to wrap this around our first two fingers. And then we will pinch it closed. I wonder if I can go one more. No. Okay, we'll pinch it closed. And then we'll take this side, go down between our fingers. And then again, we will bring this up, go underneath this loop. We will adjust the width of our bows, of our loops, pull it towards us to tighten and slip it off our fingers. Trim the ends and there is our perfect little loop, our perfect little bow. So the last bow we're going to make is absolutely perfect for greeting cards. I have this card front that I made quite a while ago and I've been unable to find an embellishment for it that I like with these two papers. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bow on it. So we're going to work with our 5 8 inch satin ribbon again. And I'm just going to take a length that will be long enough to wrap around the card. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover that seam. Um, this time I'm going to use dots medium adhesive dots. Um, they are eight millimeters in diameter or about three eighths of an inch. Uh, these are a little bit bigger. So we'll just adhere one on each end of our ribbon. We'll take the protective cover off. Line this up where we want it. And then we will just wrap this around to the back. And then we'll do the same with this side. Get that plastic off my fingers. So that's how we're going to start. Now we're going to work with some of our leftover pieces of ribbon that we've used before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this longer piece into a circle, just like that. So I will go ahead and put a glue dot on here. And then I'm going to wrap this around and I'm going to get my edges lined up as good as I can. Okay, so this is going to be our loops for our bow. And now we're going to take a couple more glue dots and I will put one here on the back. I will try to put one here on the back. And then I'm going to take this smaller piece 
and I'm going to adhere it to the glue dot. I will take another glue dot and I will put it on the back side of this little piece of ribbon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flatten this out and we're going to get this piece right here in the middle. And then we will just fold it over and we will fold it over again. And there we have our loop, our, our bow. So I'll use one more glue dot put this on the back of my ribbon and then I can decide where I want my bow I want it in the middle off to the left off to the right and I think I'm going to go ahead and put it here on the right so I will just line that up adhere it down and there we go. Just a cute little bow. This will fit perfectly in an envelope. It will lay flat. When the recipient pulls it out of the envelope, it will still look beautiful. And I just absolutely love how that looks. So there we go, everyone. We have all of our bows. Have you ever done the faux bow or the faux knot? How about the finger bows? Have you ever made those? I'd love to know all about it down in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put up the next video. Thank you so much for joining me today, and have a fantastic weekend. Bye.